Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth session of Python Basics. In this session, we will learn about the list in Python. We'll cover the basic stuff in list. We will not. So first of all, what is a list? List are important data structures in Python and it's an ordered sequence. Okay. So for example, we have a list which is like list will be created in a square brackets. Okay. And it will have member like 1, 2, 3, 4, hi, by comma, 3.14. So what I want to show you is int, float, string, everything can we can store in a list. So if we execute this, so our list is created. Okay. Again, we can have a multiple list inside a list. Like we have our current list, list one. What we'll do, we'll have something here, four comma five comma six. So we can see that a list inside a list is created. Okay. Now how do we reference a list? That is done through list one, and then we will say if you say four here, so which is a four, it will the indexing in list starts from zero, zero, one, two, three, four. So high is four. Now, what is the index of like if we type here six, so what is the value by fine? The last element, how to get that last element list of minus one? Okay, sorry, this one should be there. Okay, so the last element is 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, and 6. Now, if you want to further dive into, like if I want the value 4, so you have to give 0 here. So you can see the last element is minus 1, and again, subscript it further, you will get 4 by doing this. Now, what is slicing in Python? So we have uh, our list here. We want to extract the element from 4 till 3.14. So we'll type list one the slicing concept is it will include the whatever number you before colon it will include the number whatever you are taking the value okay index and then followed by so i'll, I'll show you with an example the index of four is three so four will be in included and the index of 3.4 is how much seven so we'll go till eight and then we'll execute this uh, printed for this high hello pi and 3.14 now if we if we don't want to print 3.14 if you want to print till so I, i'll give here till 7 okay so you can say the formula will uh, of this this thing will go like list object whatever you have then before colon and after colon after colon is a number of whatever mentioned you have mentioned minus 1 and before this is the number index whatever you have mentioned uh, display the value of those index now how to get the index goes by okay i want to get the index of this element by so that we will do right and you pass here you buy the value is six right zero one two three four five now if i pass here instead of by if i pass here true will pass three okay so the value of three is zero one two now if you want to count the items in my list that will be Okay, so if you want to count the so that for that it will be length and then you pass the list. So we have total 11 elements here. Now list can be also be of any uh, like uh, combination. We can uh, also tuple, uh, like we can also nest tuples inside a list. Tuples is nothing but with this packet. Suppose if we say uh, tuple is something which is immutable, whereas list is something where you can uh, add, delete whatever operation you want to perform. Now we can have our list with suppose we have, will create one more list okay we'll take this and then we'll say this two and then we'll pass comma these four elements okay so you can see it has included the tuple inside a list similarly we can also include other like um, data structures dictionaries and tuples now we'll take a few more example list a uh, few more example like what happened list a is equals to a comma list a is equals to 2 comma 3 and list b is equals to a comma b c so what is the content of list c so it is concatenated if you see the value of both the list is concatenated 1 2 3 and a b c now we can also change the we can also change the list like list are mutable they are changeable we have our list c list c dot will give uh, or list c and then we'll give the fourth index is equals to x okay and now if we print list c here see instead of b see 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth index was B. Okay, was B. But we have replaced it with X. So, lists are changeable. Now, a very important uh, difference between the append and extend and list. What are append and what are extend and list? Okay, now what I will show you is the difference between the append and extend and list. So, what I will do, we have the uh, list A and list B along with us, which is 1, 2, 3 and list B is ABC. Now, if we give the list A dot append list B and print list A, what will be the output? You can see a new list ABC is appended at the end of the initial list 1, 2, 3. And in case of now we will add this. What we'll do? We'll C D. C D is created. Now what we'll do? We'll list C dot extend list D and then print list C. So you can see the difference when we extend the list all the element is just entered in it is not entered in the form of a separate list it is just added at the end of the initial list whereas in case of append a new the whatever list we are appending it is added in the in, uh, as a form, as a new list so this is the basic difference now if you want to delete a list so how you will you do that so you will simply you, will, you can say del list c and if you pass the list c and you pass the first element list c so second two is gone and even if you there is some other ways also so you can see now by using this remove command third of this uh, list c a is also removed from my list even i think pop will also work let's see whether pop will work or not Okay, so what list will uh, list c dot pop it will uh, delete the zero and the resultant list value is one b and c. Okay, now I'll show you a difference between the aliasing. Okay, how it works. Suppose we have a item like list x is equals to a comma b comma c. Okay, and then you have again y is equals to a and y is equals to x so in both the cases the value of both x and y will be the same right x is abc and y is abc now here y is referring to x right right if we change the value of x then y will also be impacted so suppose we say that x is equals to x10 So what is the value of x now? A, a DE is added. Now if you see the y value of y, y is also changed. So this is like what aliasing will do. Now what we'll do, we'll see how the cloning works. We say z is equals to x. And so in this case, z will contain all the element a, b, c, d. Now if we change x, okay, then z will not be changed. Suppose we say x, x dot what is the content of x now but what is the content of z so you see this is the concept of cloning in uh, cloning using list in python now how do we sort sorting in python now post list s is equals to 8 comma 7 comma 5 comma 4 comma 3 comma 2 comma 1 0 if we sort this okay list s dot sort so what will be the content it is sorted okay Similarly, we can use the string also. Suppose we have a string called list underscore is equals to and if we sort try to sort it, then we give list dot sort and print list. So 
it will execute this three. So as per the alphabetical order, the name is sorted. So this is how like you get these are the basic, very, very basic operations in list. If you know this, you can start in Python. And uh, there are others, there are other complicated and complex uh, ta uh, tasks which I have, I have not touched. I will be coming up in the later videos once the basic uh, in Python is complete. So thanks a lot for watching this se uh, session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.